Hello YouTube, this is my everyday makeup look. It's very lightweight for summer. If you're a person that sweats a lot like me, this is really good because it doesn't look oily when you get a little bit of hot or it starts sweating off midday when you're out going around shopping or whatnot. So it's really light, really natural, and it's a good everyday look. So if you wanna see how I did it, stay tuned. I started out with a clean face, just moisturizer on. And I get the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in a light pale and just put it on in triangles under my eyes. I just rub it in with my fingers and make sure I spread it out really nice and evenly. And then I use a little bit on my eyelid, kind of like an eyeshadow primer just because I won't be using any shadow for this look. I think it just helps it keep a matte look on your eyelid instead of getting a little bit glossy. And then to set that, I just get a flat brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder um, in Creamy Beige and I just pat that on so that my concealer doesn't get shiny at all under my eyes. And then for foundation, I take my MAC Studio Fix in MC42. And I just start out with my neck to make sure my neck and my face will match. So I'll always start with my neck when I do foundation just because I don't want it to not blend well and have a big difference in color just because I don't tan my face so it always is significantly whiter than the rest of my body. And then I just go up from there and start with my chin and my cheeks. I do a little bit on my eyes just so I don't have big lines where the concealer is. And I just blend it all in nice and evenly. And then I take my Bare Minerals powder. It's uh, meant to be an all over face powder, but I just use it for my contour every day. It's in the color Faux Tan. And I just get a thin little um, like blush brush and put it in the hollows of my cheeks. Just make the fishy face and just put it on the hollows of your cheeks. I put a little bit on my forehead just to make it look a little more bronzed and even. And I just blend it in really well. And with this, I just wanna make sure that there's no streaks. So I like to really blend it in and go over it a few times to build a, a darker contour. And then I put it on my forehead just to make it match the rest and it also helps your forehead look a little bit smaller if your hair is back or something. I also put it on my neck just to make your neck appear a little bit thinner and that way your neck also matches the rest of the bronze. If I'm feeling a little bit white, I'll put it on my chest just to make it look a little bit more tan. I didn't do that here, but sometimes I will if I'm feeling white. And you can build it as much as you need to if you feel like you want a darker contour or a lighter contour. It just depends on what you like on a daily basis. And then I take my MAC Spring Sheen Blush. I really like this color just because it's a very shimmery coral and it looks really nice for summer. It almost helps just have a nice, a nice little highlight on the top of your cheeks. I usually line it up with the very top of my contour and then up into my hairline. And sometimes I'll add a little bit to the top of my forehead just to bring the whole look together, but it doesn't make much of a difference if you're not too picky. And then for my eyebrows, I like a really natural look, so I just get a very matte brown shadow. The one I'm using here is from just a really old Maybelline palette. I just get a flat brush and just fill in my eyebrows so that they look a little more thick and a little full. And I really like to get an arch, so I've been growing my eyebrows out just to get that thick arch look like the Kardashians. If you do like a thicker eyebrow look or a more arched or defined look, I do recommend the Dior um, Universal Brow Pencil. It is absolutely incredible, but if you just want a really natural and inexpensive product, just grab a matte brown shadow or 
taupe color if you're blonde or black, depending on your hair color. And then I just use my e.l.f. brow gel. It's a two-in-one, so one end is for brows and one end is for lashes. I don't see a difference in either of them, so I've just used both ends, and it's like a dollar with like all the other e.l.f. products, and it's lasted me a really long time, so I just throw that on there just so that my hair is going the right direction. To add a little bit of highlight to my eyes, I get the Naked 3 palette and just get the, na the Naked Shadow called Dust. And just put that on the inner corner of my eyes for a little bit of shimmer and to brighten up my eyes so my face isn't too matte. I try not to wear too much eyeshadow on a daily basis just because it takes more time and then I get carried away and end up doing a full, more dramatic look instead of just a natural look for an everyday look. And then I take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and just throw that on my lashes. I have really long lashes, but they just don't curl for me, so I do not curl them because they get really square and go in different directions, and it drives me crazy, so I just leave them straight. If I'm doing a more dramatic look or if I'm working that night or on camera that night, I'll usually throw on um, a set of false lashes, and they're usually really dramatic, but if it's just an everyday look and I'm not going to be on camera, then I just throw on some mascara. And lastly, I get my Jordana lip liner from Walgreens, and it's usually a dollar or two dollars, and I get it in the color Tawny and just line my lips to give them a little more definition. I try not to overline my lips too much just because I already have very full lips, so I try and stay uh, along the inside of my lips just so that they look natural. And then I'm a big fan of chopsticks, so I just throw on some Blistex Mint Chopstick. Just put that right on over there, and the color lasts usually all day. And my lips stay hydrated in the summer heat. And that's pretty much it for this look. So if you like this everyday look, then stay tuned for more and comment below and I can give you some more. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.